first of all, I think this is vital because the risks of disasters, uh, as we can all see, particularly because of climate change, are increasing all the time. So increasing uh, our preparedness for that, our readiness for that, through disaster risk reduction uh, is absolutely crucial. Secondly, uh, disaster risk reduction is the responsibility of everyone. It's not just the responsibility of governments, it's not just the responsibility of the UN, it's the responsibility of everybody, local communities, NGOs, um, everybody has to put a contribution into this, and I think the campaign we're launching today is very much part of that. Thirdly, obviously, uh, this, is, this is the whole point of, uh, of disaster risk reduction, prevention uh, is better than cure. Uh, hospitals and health facilities, as, as I think the Princess has just been uh, making clear, are an enormous investment for any country, and therefore preserving them has to be, uh, preserving them from destruction in the case of a disaster has to be uh, a priority. And not only that, they are a very symbolic part of a, a country's infrastructure and when, when they go wrong and when they seem to be abandoned, not working, destroyed, I think that has a, a very uh, negative effect on people's morale when they look at a disaster. I think if you think back to the um, uh, Hurricane Katrina and what happened in New Orleans, I think some of the scenes of those hospitals which have been destroyed or are not functioning and people that actually died in them um, it w was a very... Um, a negative impact or a very negative image from that particular disaster. Obviously the other key point, and I, uh, it's been made already, I'm sure others will make it, is that when a disaster strikes, obviously having your health facilities operating is absolutely key to your ability to deal with it and to recover from it. So for that reason alone, um, the kind of campaign we're trying to launch today, giving priority to health facilities in terms of disaster risk reduction and preservation from damage, that must be absolutely uh, enormous. And perhaps just the last point uh, to make is that um, it, it doesn't need to cost a fortune. Um, I think the calculations show that for 4% uh, of the cost of a new hospital, you can ensure it's safe um, from the effects of, of earthquake or, or disaster. And even if you're trying to retrofit a hospital, you can, you can do an awful lot for 1% of the cost, which will preserve 90% of it in the event of a disaster. So uh, that seems to me very compelling arguments for why it's worth doing. So I, I think this is an extremely worthwhile, self-evident case, uh, and I hope we'll be able to make good use of it in the next two years in the campaign that we're launching today.